International travel is, uh, is, a, is a bit of a challenge. Uh, we spend uh, probably right at a week in the office planning uh, logistics and so forth. Um, after 9-11, it, it's, it's a very difficult process to get uh, commercial vehicles across the border. Um, there's inventory systems that have to be in place. Uh, most, most of us teams-wise will hire uh, professional companies that do that for a living, uh, but it, it's a lot of paperwork, yeah. insurance issues, um, truck drivers, we usually send them up a day ahead of time just because you just never know crossing the border what kind of questions or issues or anything that's going to come up. Because it's not something that we do week in and week out, it takes a lot more planning and, um, and, and thankfully there's a lot of experts in the industry now that we can depend on. So financially it costs uh, quite a bit more to go into Canada, even logistically being mileage is not as, as far as uh, Long Beach or, or you know, any other California trip is actually more expensive as a trip. Um, the flights are more expensive uh, because you're, it's international travel and, and most people don't think of Canada as, as international travel, uh, but it very much is and, and we have to make sure that uh, passports, the guys have all their passports in place. Um, and most importantly that we have all the Department of Transportation stuff in place because there's different laws and rules for these commercial vehicles when we cross the border. Uh, for instance, up there they have um, all the trucks have to be turned down to a 55 mile an hour speed limit. So the trucks cannot be able to go over 55. So we have to stop and, and stop at a, uh, a, for us, a Freightliner dealer and have those trucks electronically turned down when we cross the border, if they were to get checked, that everything's fine. Um, licenses for the radios that we use to talk to the cars, uh, we have to have different licenses when we go up to Canada. All that's going to be done ahead of time and in place before we get over there for the event. So we're excited to go up to, to Moscow. It's a great event. It's a great turnout. Uh, the Canadian fans are just very uh, excited about sports car racing. So it's, we have a lot of fun going up there, but it's, it's a lot of work uh, back in the office.